What's going on guys, my name is Yellow S2K and I'm playing some MX vs ATV Reflex and this is another custom track review. We are at North Timberline by Monster704 and look left and right, first things first, the environment on this track is absolutely insane. It's not just placing uh, objects all over the track. Um, there's these just big rocks and, and bridges and there's just so much going on that it's absolutely incredible. So make sure you keep your eye out because that is definitely the coolest thing about this track. The layout is really solid honestly uh, there's a lot of unique jumps I mean check, take a look at this section nice step up fun to throw a little whip on water crossing jumping over the rocks with like the roots a lot of elevation chains change uh, inside outside to step up here a lot of fun you can just see already I mean look at this you jump the landing is a bridge like so so cool I'm gonna launch over that wall land on this berm carry a bunch of speed over this uh, dragon back Brap. A little triple, double, and then just double out. But there's just so much going on, and it's not, I mean, look at the bridge. I don't know, it's, it's hard to, just just take a look left and right. I mean, there's just so much cool shit. It's not just, you know, you know, loaders placed in corners and things like that. Like, there's little bridges and little paths and roads with trucks on them. I mean, it's nuts. Another little split line, pretty cool. You can cut to the inside here. This is a nice double. We'll take the outside line this time, try to rail around this, get a nice triple, scrub the middle triple, and then a little tire tap out. Or you can uh, quad out if you hit a different line. Again, split lines there, lots of different options through this little rhythm. He says it's kind of like an outdoor-ish supercross. A little water there, pretty cool. On, on, off. A little grassy double, big one. Pretty cool. Nice triple, another step up, you can land on, and then just try to scrub over. I didn't get quite a good enough scrub there, but it's all good. Now we're back over to the start. Let's try to take out, uh, check out some different lines here. That was ugly. I wanted to uh, take something a little bit different to there, but scrub hill. Brap. That's so sick. I love it. That's a great scrub hill. A lot of people don't get those right. Get nasty over that thing. Little case there, that's a bummer because you can usually land that nice and smooth. Here, let me show you this outside. Not really worth it. Like, why hit that? Um, it's okay that it's there, no worries, because if somebody's taking that inside, you may as well switch things up. Again, I'm going to jump into this berm. Landed in like the exact same spot. Let's check out the uh, outside line. <laughs> try to get away with it but uh, I wish I would have hit that because it just sets you up for a different line not a crazy little rhythm through there so it's not that big of a deal let's try to go outside hit this berm into the whoops ah. drifting a little too wide like I said I am I'm a little rusty with reflex at the moment from all the uh, MXGP 2 step up let's check out the opposite line again I'm trying to show you guys as many lines as I can not that big of a double. Let's check out this inside. You got to really get your power down to get over that uh, first first double, and then you can quad out. Let's rail this outside here. Switch it up. Already checked out this inside line, but no worries. On, off. Again, a few options through there. Let's see if we can still get this on. Oh, I'm gonna have to stretch this out. That was not pretty at all. So he's a bigger double than I think it is. Gonna case this too, so not a great little ending there, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's try a different line here. You can go short, uh, you can jump all the way over, and then it ends you where you kind of jump off of this table and you're not over jumping this. It's actually a pretty cool way to hit that. But as you can see, just the environment is absolutely nuts. Let's do a little cheater here. You can land on the inside, but you just gotta be able to get through the rocks. I think you gotta cut it a little bit shorter. Um, but again, that's just a silly line. That's not something you're probably gonna take in the middle of a race because it's a little too risky. It can be quick though. Try to just do a little scrub there. Just try to hit this nice and smooth. I'm trying to scrub up it just a little bit so I'm getting a little bit of a case. But again, this inside is totally the way to go. Check it. Just crap. 
You can actually throw some fun little whips over that. And it sets you up for this. It's not that big, so you can throw another scrub there. Again, I'm just launching into this. I like it because it sets you up for an easier path to uh, carry speed over that dragon's back. Again, triple, double, double. Now, I like taking the inside of these loops, but they can catch you out if you don't get enough speed going into them, so you've got to be careful there for sure. Oh shit, that was crazy. Looks like we're going to take the inside after that mess. Really tried to get the power down there. Don't have to stress too much. This doubles again a small one, even though it looks pretty big. Triple, little tire tap. Oh, I tried to really get the power down. You can see there's a lot of opportunity to make up time by just hitting these corners flat out. Here's a different line through here. You can jump over, then you land in the water again, but there is a way to get through there. I gotta remember what it is, where you don't end up kind of going down into that water. Again, this section can actually catch you out. It's pretty simple, but you saw me mess it up last lap. Now again, you can go real slow over this, and sometimes it pays off because you can end up going inside to inside on these corners. Just go nice and smooth. Let's go outside here again. I love this little last section, the, the last little whoop there is really cool. too quick, but whatever. Baton. So you can land, you can hit it straight and then land all the way out here, but I don't think it's really worth it. I like to cut it a little bit like I have been on the previous laps. Well, let's see, you can go a little bit slower and then cut in. And you can get a decent bit of speed over this, so it's not that big of a deal. It's probably the more legit line, but I kind of like launching it. It's fun. There we go. There's the other, other line. Triple, triple through there. I think it's definitely a little bit quicker. And easy to go wide on those when you try to take that outside line. And it's partially me just trying to haul ass. And again, being a little rusty. I kind of like this outside because it's fun. You just rah, you just carry so much speed there. Then cut in, throw a little scrub, hook this inside line. Again, you got to carry a good bit of speed to get over that first double, and then quad out. So it just sets you up for a really fun section in those last uh, three or four corners there. And really, this is pretty sweet too. Dang it, I didn't hit the line I wanted to hit. We'll slow up here, see what we can do. Yeah, I'm not sure what that line is. But we can check out this inside, and you can still get on, on, off. So there are some options, even uh, at the tail end there. Oh, shit. Again, that section can catch you out, and I'm just being stupid. But let's see if we can get all the way on. Oh, that's a little bit of a hard gap. But, man, it would be really cool to um, go off there. Um, kind of hard to explain, but let's try this little cheater. Let's try this one more time. Ah, uh, so you gotta be really careful. Oh well. <laughs> to the inside. Can you imagine hitting that inside line to that step up and throwing it like upside down like that? Let's go outside again here just to give it a shot. just not, not worth it. You'd have to go so slow to not kind of launch into that burn or that wall. Again, that's just a fun one there. Let's go inside this time. That's a fun little triple. Oh, I actually over jumped it. But that outside line might be a little bit quicker. So it's just cool. There's a lot of options on this track. Ugh, trying to carry my speed. Oh my god, we almost decapitated ourselves. Um, yeah, and there's, there's definitely some tricky lines, some lines that make you want to really just get on it hard, and, uh, you can really make some mistakes. But, obviously, in general, you can just tell what a solid track. Not only is the environment just nuts, in fact, I think it's the best environment in any Reflex game, or, sorry, Reflex custom track. 
Um, but the layout is a lot of fun. Like, I really want to do some races on this. I'm going to try to see if I can get some people together because this one is just a lot of fun. I'm trying to scrub that quad. Here's that other line. Yeah, so you jump over the water. Kind of made it a little ugly, but you can see the potential for a fast line through there. So I got to figure out the real hot lines, um, but really in general, what a cool track. So much fun. Scrub up the hill. Brap. Again, not go too quick off of this. Go a little quicker. <laughs> Let's finish this out strong here. I'm going to focus on uh, the gameplay at this point. I lied. I lied so bad. This KTM's pretty sick though, huh? Hey, hey. Try to give you a view of it. <laughs> Let's get nasty here. Bruh. Anyway, guys, pretty insane track, right? Please uh, let Monster704 know that it's a good one. Support him. And uh, yeah, North Timberline. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out. Woohoo!